once you hit package, you will get a prompt and there are a lot of words and you can read through the words, but basically it's saying, do not steal fonts. And you're saying, I promise I'm not stealing fonts. I'm not sharing fonts that I don't have the copyright to. Any of the fonts that you have um, installed in InDesign by default, you can use. You can feel free to package those. Um, and if you were to find fonts on the internet or pay for fonts, you need to make sure that you have the license for that. InDesign doesn't know if you have the license to use it, to reuse it, to share it, etc. And so I would caution you to use in, uh, fonts off of the internet, especially if you're using it for commercial work. When you're in school, it's not the end of the world, right? Because you're not selling it, you're not making money off of it, you're just using it as part of your project. Um, but once you transition into to making money from what you're working on, you definitely do not want to use a font unless you're confident that you have the license agreement for that font. Once you package, you're going to get a folder, and the folder will have certain things in it, right? And so you're looking at the screen now and probably thinking to yourself, well, that doesn't look like the example that Jessica gave earlier in the lecture. That has a document fonts folder, it has a duotone.indd, and it has a new project.txt, right? So it has fonts, it has an InDesign project, and it has instructions, but it's missing the links or the pictures. If you don't have any text, any words in your project, then you're not using any fonts and you won't have a document fonts folder. And the same applies to pictures. If you're not using any pictures, then you won't have a links folder. So keep that in mind. So you want to see those four things. Really, you want to see five things. You want your document fonts and your links folder. You want your INDD file. You want your .txt text file. And you really want to have a .idml file um, every time you package. But if you don't have any pictures, don't expect to see a links folder. And if you don't have any text or fonts in your project, don't expect to see a fonts folder. OK. So at this point, so this slideshow is used on campus too, I would say you should probably take a break. Um, if you're taking this class online, I would literally stop here and I would pick up another day, um, really absorb what happened in the first half of class, and then we can move on to the next video. Now, I'm just going to pick up right now, so if you don't stop the slideshow or you don't stop the video, um, I'm just going to jump right into the next half of the lecture uh, with the next video.